Hi there, uh, welcome to my video on using concept mapping or mind mapping to produce um, essays. Alright, so when you open up FreeMind, and FreeMind's a lovely little program, been around for years, available for Ma uh, Mac and PC, you're going to be start off with Unite. Now, when I'm actually introducing uh, co um, mind mapping, concept mapping to students, I like to pick a topic called ice cream because everyone knows something about ice cream. Just uh, ignore my spelling mistakes for today. Now with mind mapping and sort of constructivist learning, the first thing you need to do is really brainstorm, uh, brainstorm what you've um, got in your head because we're going to build upon the knowledge that you have. So what I'm going to do here is just select the heading here and I'm just going to put insert now you can actually do it by using the menus and if you want to use a bit of your time you can actually go through that you can even do emojis, so my ice cream that always makes me happy etc. So I'm just going to do some initial brainstorming so for starters it's cold it has lots of sugar in it um, it's made of milk so if you didn't notice what I just did then I type the keyword hit enter that finishes it, hit enter again that takes me to a new heading. Um, it's also got cream in it, um, you can actually get it in chocolate um, what else do we know about ice cream? Um, we can get different flavours so I should probably put in the heading of flavours so just by brainstorming and of course you can do this with somebody else or in, in a group or as a whole class if you like um, we actually have milk that comes from cows we can put in things like this we're brainstorming because we don't keep everything um, there's also things called um, gelato um, that's another type of ice cream I can actually get it on a stick um, I can actually get it in a cone um, I can get it in different colours, so it can be br um, brown, it can be rainbow, okay. So this is where you start to get a bit of a brain freeze, not because you're eating the ice cream, lol. You've got information now that you're trying to get everything out and it's becoming cluttered. So now we're going to declutter. Okay, so cold. What would cold be a description of ice cream? Well, you can use the word description if you like, but you can also actually put in maybe its um, physical appearance. So its physical appearance is cold. Sugar, what would sugar be? Well, that's actually an ingredient, isn't it? So I put in the sugar there for ingredient. Um, also cream could be an ingredient there. Um, chocolate would actually be a flavour. Um, cow would actually come under milk because I've got a friend who is um, lactose intolerant. So they can actually get a goat milk one. And I know for the vegans out there there's actually a soy one. Now can you see what's happening here? I'm actually starting to look at my information from a whole new perspective. This does take practice. Um, gelato, what would gelato be? That would actually be a type of alternative. And then I might drag that down there and of course some other alternatives would be um, frozen yogurt and then you might want to get some frozen um, custard uh, rainbow brown they're technically colors and you slowly build it up now I could actually go on forever so I'm just going to swap over here to one that I've done before. 
So as you can see, I've gone into a lot more detail. Obviously, like my ice cream, far too much. However, you can start to see that I've actually put in a lot more details. So I've got information, but now that information isn't in one big um, clump. Now what you might not have noticed down the bottom here is actually a text editor. So where you see these little writing pads is that I've actually put in my sentences describing it. Uh, physical properties, I've just put in this generic sentence. So when I export it as an essay, um, we know what's going to be um, what you actually get an approximate value or an appearance. So if we go to mango then I would actually type in a sentence regarding mangoes. I might want to talk at gelato. Okay, I'll put in a sentence there. Alright, so now I'm going to export this as an open office writer document. It's an open it's a platform that's been around for a while. So I'm just going to overwrite the one that I've got there. Yep. So now I'm going to open up that file. And as you can see, I've actually built up my essay. Just ignore that macro. So I've actually got all my headings here. And you can actually start to see your essay. Now with an essay you always try to work sequentially down a page. That is not the way you do research or you find information. Information when you research it is all over the place. Okay, You need to provide a structure and a sequence. Now if you give a lecturer a or a teacher a big paragraph like this, they're going to hate it. What you really want to be showing them is that this structure is correct and they will guide you, oh this heading needs to be shifted over to here and this needs to be shifted over there or this is missing something or this should be broken up broken up into several different components. This is a nice quick and visual drag and drop environment that they can build it. Now even though you might have already done some work on them, you're not going to lose it. You're going to shift all over the place. You may even might find little headings that are actually not related to your essay and you can be they can be pointed out. So that's how you can quickly produce a decent report or an essay which has a good structure, it has content and it minimizes the waffle talk in your report. Anyway, I've hoped this has helped you and um, see you later.